Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring episode. Uh, the last pour we did, Glowing Pearl, was really, really beautiful, and we used Golden's Iridescent Pearl and the 24 karat gold, and we did a ring pour, and it left some beautiful effects of glowing almost in throughout the painting, and it was really, really beautiful. So I want to explore that some more in a straight pour. Uh, instead of a ring pour and I want to use a bigger canvas. So this is a 24 by 36 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped the back and put my push pins in. Move this out of the way and I'll show you my colors. We are starting with that Golden's Iridescent Pearl and everything is mixed with mix pour tonight. You can get your mix pour by emailing Krista at Krista8974 and she will hook you up. Um, my paint is all mixed with the mix and water, and there is quite a bit of water in these. So it still seems very, very thick, but if you see, the important part is how fast that mound sinks into the rest of the cup, which is pretty quickly. So this is our golden iridescent pearl. Then we have our Decoart Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Okay, then we have Golden's Prussian Blue which I really love this color. It's a toss up between this one and the Payne's Gray, but I think this one kind of wins. But I do love the Payne's Gray because it's so dramatic and bold. Speaking of bold and dramatic, this one is Golden's Permanent Maroon. And I found this color when I was looking for my permanent violet dark and they didn't have it. <laughs> and they sent me maroon and I was like, wait, what? But this is a beautiful color, very, very pretty. Okay, so then the last one that we are using is this Cerulean Blue Deep, also from Golden. Very pretty color. Okay, and then my edges are painted with Amsterdam Caput Mortem. And as my base coat, I have mixed up a big tub of Caput Mortem, but I didn't really like the color. So I added some Amsterdam Black to it and now I like it. It's like this lovely black cherry color. So this is our Flow Extender base coat color. I don't anticipate a lot of this staying on the canvas, but I did want to have enough of a Flow Extender to have our paint not roll over itself. Okay, so for a 24 by 36, we need about 31 ounces of paint. These are 16 ounce cups, so we're going to layer two and then pour them. Okay, we're going to start off like we did in glowing pearl with just a little bit of pearl in the bottom, in the center. And I'm going to layer these cups even though we're going to do a straight pour. And I'm going to put a little bit of gold on there. Not a lot at all. And then we're going to come into the Prussian blue, kind of a thicker layer of that. some of the cerulean blue. And we're going to go back to the pearl again. And the gold. now. Put that cerulean on top of there. And some more pearl. Some more gold. Smaller layer of gold. And I did last time. <laughs> and a nice layer of maroon. Okay. Put some pressure on top of this one. Okay. 
So that's a 24 by 36. And I'm going to pour a puddle of gold right about here. And we're probably going to move a little bit with this straight pour. I'm not going to keep everything in one spot. I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. Okay. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Yeah, right here, yeah? Mm -hmm. Straight pour, not too high up. And we're going to move the cup back a little bit as we go. Gonna give that a second to let the air bubbles pop. We're going to take our flow extender, which is that cap at Mortem color with Amsterdam black. And this is not mixed with mix, this is mixed with flow troll and the paint and a little bit of gloss medium, but not a lot. Okay, we're gonna go around the pour. sure that that's touching the pore.
Okay, let's torch this. So in the premiere for Glowing Pearl today, Lee Massey actually asked me how come, as I said, I'm only torching the pour, I'm not torching the base coat. He said, how come? And I said, because I didn't want that to set up. And the reason with that canvas, it was a smaller canvas and I didn't have as much flow extender, so it was already on there pretty thin. With this, there's a lot of flow extender on here and it's fairly liquid, so I'm more comfortable torching this because it's not going to start to set up on me. Okay. This is beautiful in here, it's so pretty. All these little fingerlings are really nice. I'm not sure if I love this. We may get rid of that, but I like all of this and what's happening over here. All right, let's tilt this around a little bit and see where the way the paint is. It should be down there. So we're gonna move down to that corner first. And just kind of walk this down, spreading it out a little bit as we go. And we're going to go off that corner. pushing the flow extender off before we get to our paint. Okay. I'm just going to lift this straight up and lift this float down. Before we take any of the pour off, I'm going to bring it down this way too. Composition. I have a feeling we're going to be getting rid of some of that down there at the other end. Did I just drop? I don't know.
and just let this float. Get the weight of the paint back in the center before we try to take it all the way down to the other end. It's also stretching out these fingerlings for us, which are really, really pretty. And then we're gonna just let it float down. Yeah, I think we're gonna lose a lot of that down at the bottom. I mean, it's kind of neat, but I like what's happening up here a lot better. is right here now. If I let it go straight, it's gonna put a dip in the middle. So now we're gonna take it this way a little bit. float down this way. You notice how that stuff's not really moving very, very much because it's anchored on the corners. Whereas this still has a lot more paint moving around. It's about to go off that bottom edge. I'll take some of this off. float down this way. This is looking kind of neat though. Part of me wants to take this off too, but then the other part of me thinks it actually looks kind of cool. So, what do you think? Do you want to vote for taking this all off or keeping it on there? Um, balance wise, I kind of like it. Yeah, I think it 
works with that other thing going on in the corner up there. This is the composition. I really like what happened with this corner. Yeah. It kind of looks like a comet coming in. I love these little gold cells popping up. We're getting those because we poured into a puddle of gold. Part of me wants to just like take the, this half off, but then this would open up too much and it would be weird. I think we need to take this part down just a little bit more. You can hear the canvas vibrating. <laughs> I hear it. Huh? Yes, I hear it. There's a microphone. Okay. I think we're going to stop there. It sounds like thunder. Yeah, exactly. This is pretty cool. Be enough to turn on the torch. <laughs> Maybe not. looking pretty cool. Okay. Alrighty. So this is looking pretty neat. I actually really like what's happening all through the center and I love this top edge. It's really, really beautiful. These are gorgeous with the pearl and the cerulean and the Prussian and then that gorgeous board uh, maroon with the gold in here and then more pearl and then we have this gradation. Really, really cool. This is neat. I love these little gold cells popping up. And those are there because we stretched it out. See, this is how I get painted in my hair. <laughs> Um, if we did take this off, we would get more of those gold cells popping up through this layer of maroon also, but I don't want to. I like it how it is. So we're going to say this one is done. I will show you guys when it's dry. Um, actually, I probably will show you when it's dry once we come back from Texas, because we are going to Texas next week for the Fluid Art Experience, which is going to be so much fun with Sarah Mack, and Kathleen Osmore, and Karen Dershon, and Massey Art Studio and myself and HOA, and uh, I probably won't be here when it's dry. So <laughs> I will just edit the video for it to put up while we are there, and then when I come back, I will show you the dried results. Thank you so much for being here with us tonight. I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful day. To those of you coming to Texas to see us, thank you so much. I'm so excited to meet you all. I can't wait. HOA, are you excited? Oh, yeah. <laughs> So this is going to be awesome. For those of you who can't make it, I hope we can see you at one of the next ones. It would be a lot of fun. So thanks for being here. We'll see you soon.